So first thing first, what is state management? Well, for that, you need to know what is state. And I have already mentioned in my earlier videos in React that uh, at the end of the day, state is nothing than just a variable or information that you would like to use it in different part of your application. In terms of React, we can call it different part of your component. Even if it is page, it is a component. Even if it is component, it is a component. So whenever you have a big project or even a small project, but you have a lot of uh, components, uh, then you will slowly realize that uh, you need to have a single source of truth for your variables or state in this uh, in this context so i will be using a state but i just have given you example here so let's say we have a state and that's nothing other than variables so we have two variables so one is to do's and it's uh, it's an array and then we have users that's also an array however you can have any state such as any data type it can be string it can be number it can be object and so on all right so in our case we do have to do's and users okay and then uh, we have a lot of components here at least uh, as an example so let's say we have component one that's a parents component and then it has children one and then there is another nested children so you have parents children and children similarly you have completely another page component where it also has a sub page component and it also has a children. and let's say you want to use uh, to do's in a lot of these uh, these components okay so i have hidden here so let's say uh, in my this example uh, component one it needs to have to do's value and then children three it requires users value and then children three here which is completely in different page in sub page component uh, we need children and also here also we need users so imagine if you don't have any one uh, single source of truth and you have to do uh, prop drilling so that that means you are passing props from the higher component and then it goes all the way to down and i have a separate video about how to edit and so on uh, in, in in your props and children and you can watch that i will put that videos link also in the description so imagine this case these are completely different. You are going the first level, second level, and third level in your component hierarchy, in your component tree. And then similarly, there you have also completely separate page. That means there should be somewhere here a parents application component or such. And then it also has a sub component, sub page component, and that has a children. So here is uh, here you can already see three level, and here is three levels, and then here somewhere you will have a main application component. And you can already imagine how difficult it would be to have all those variables synchronized because at the end of the day, state management is nothing than just having a single source of truth for all your variables or information it can be array it can be string number whatever you like to give it and then having those uh, those variables or those state being used in several part of your components throughout your application that's the one thing and then on top of that you should be able to modify this because if you have to do's or if you have users then you should be able to modify and to modify you also have one single source uh, source of truth for all the action in this case we have modifying to do's and also we have modifying users and that's also action and that is outside okay in somewhere in some other um, maybe javascript file or typescript file and then you can do a delete update basically this kind of uh, all the modifying related uh, function or, or, or stops you can do it and then let's say uh, i will to toggle this on and now you can see from component one we should be able to update user so that means we should be probably able to update the information of that user one specific user or it can be of multiple users all right similarly from the children component you should be able to delete the user okay similarly there is also a user in this part so from this uh, completely separate uh, sub page component you should be able to add user and then from this component you should be update and then you should be deleting however here is also another component that's a child component from where you have to add uh, something on to do and then you do have here also delete to do which is completely in different tree in different uh, hierarchy here uh, so you have to do this so you can see that these are just a simple example and in a bigger component or in bigger uh, application you have a lot of other components and you should be doing uh, this kind of action and the important part is when you are deleting to do from here 
okay it should delete the to do from here whatever to do you want to delete and then because we are using that to do's also here and also here so the changes should reflect uh, immediately okay so that's whole idea of state management so there is a single source of truth that is a state where you have all the variables and information and there is a way to modify those that we call actions and then you can modify those from anywhere within your application however when you modify those the changes should be reflected to everywhere you have used that variable so that is as simple as it gets in terms of state management so with that, I think you are clear. Now let's go to our uh, the main topic, main agenda of the day, and that is just end.